My name is Gonzalo Lazari from Blue Radio Colombia. Frankie, David, thank you so much for your time here in Colombia, Latin America. Pleasure. Thank you. Uh, guys, this question is for both. Maybe first, Frankie, how does it feel to come back to the studio, to the junkets, to the real life as an actress <laughs> after the pandemic? <laughs> Um, I didn't want to go to sleep last night after the premiere. It was so fun to be with people and to connect with people again. Um, and even that was kind of how it felt when we were shooting it in the middle of the pandemic, because um, it was at least my first time being with people socially because we were all in a bubble. And um, I think after the first very few awkward conversations of like, oh, how do I have conversations with people who aren't my family? Um, it was just like such a joy to be in the world again. David, the same question. How does it feel to come back to the studio, your partners uh, after the pandemic to the junkets? Maybe it's so tired, but, but, but <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it feels great. You know, I wish we could really do it though. There's still a lot of corporate protocols that like, you know, I don't know. I'm going to go off here for a second, but like the <laughs> CDC is sort of what I'm following, which is like the scientific thing. And they've said like double vaccinated, you can not wear a mask. You don't have to social distance. Blah, blah, blah. And I kind of want to, you know, get into that. And I feel like even these junkets now I'm stuck on zoom as opposed to being in, in a room with you, Gonzalo, you <laughs> fly me down to fly me down to Colombia. I'll be in the studio with you. I'm oh, ready. Man. No, thank you, so it's much. Like, you know, it's, we're still, we're slowly getting back into it and it's great, but I do feel like there's a lot of trauma as well that we're dealing with like trauma, not only personally, but politically and, you know, corporately, And we have to really want to overcome that trauma and want to come back. And so I do, I'm, I keep encouraging people to like, get out of the house, like go see things, go do things. Cause it, we do need to come, come back into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. David, as an actor, I'm sure maybe it's too easy to smile like a normal person, but how difficult is acting to, to transmit a sense of fear? Um, Depends on the day. I mean, when you're doing a scene with Benicio Del Toro and you're being given notes by Steven Soderbergh, it's pretty easy to be afraid, to be honest, because <laughs> you're intimidated as hell. And you're like, all right, all I got to do is just be that. Um, but no, it is, it's one of the things that actually, as I go along as an actor, I more and more admire. You can watch the crappiest horror movie and you can think the acting is terrible. But if that person is walking around the house and you think that person is scared, The amount of focus you need to do that with eight people with a camera, like following you around and guys with booms, like going like this, as you pretend to be afraid, it's, it does take, it takes a lot of focus, a lot of, uh, a lot of focus and concentration. It, the, the last question, Frankie, is when you investigated that a woman, how is the woman of the 50? What did you discover about the woman of the 50? Um, so yeah, I think there's like, there was a lot of, um, uh, women at that time, especially suburban white women were told they needed to stay in the home and be the homemaker and that would make them happy. Um, there weren't a lot of other, um, aspirations outside of that. And so it was just interesting to read about that time period. And then like what happened politically and culturally and socially for, women to break out of that, you know, with some second wave feminist stuff that happened right in the 60s. And so, um, yeah, I think it was just like one of those reactionary decades coming off of World War II where women, or at least suburban white women, which um, was the, a character that I was playing, um, really like, especially for my character to dream of moving to California, I felt like she was so courageous for having that little simple dream uh, at this period of time. Guys, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for the movie and congratulations. Thanks, Gonzalo. Bye bye.